Okay, so let me pip install the Jupyter Lab. Go to the terminal. Just source activate the environment. Pip install Jupyter Lab. Okay, maybe this one. Jupyter Lab. Yep, that's the one. Okay, so you can check by typing pip list and you will find Jupyter Lab here. Yeah, this is the one. Jupyter Lab and Jupyter Lab Server. The prerequisite. For doing this is I installed Jupyter Notebook before. Um, you can watch my previous video. I haven't tried installing Jupyter Lab without installing Jupyter Notebook. So I don't know what happened if you do that. But if you follow my sequence, it's very likely you can get it well. After you install Jupyter Lab, you can go like Jupyter. You have a hyphen, but I just try. Okay, Jupyter Lab. Yep, seems like it works. This rating, so it's going to launch a Jupyter Lab session. Yep, so it's running a Jupyter Lab session. Okay, I have configured my Jupyter Lab to point to the Jupyter Lab folder, which is this one, so you will see my previous Jupyter notebook, which is this one and this one. Okay, so they are the same. Let me just open a Jupyter notebook, a new notebook. So this is the new notebook. Just import sets and just print the version. So I should get control shift. I should get the Python version that is used in your virtual environment. Okay, just delete that. I have to go to the terminal and kernels i have to shut down manually oh actually let me show you something let me just get back to the untitled jupyter notebook that i just create go to setting and then change the jupyter lab theme to dark usually that's what i do because when you code for a long time it feels way better if you do it in dark mode okay so import sys and sys dot version Control shift Right. Unlike in other text editor, you need to print sys dot version. Right. Shift enter, and you get this thing without a single quote. Just shift enter. Then you got a single quote here. Right. So that means inside the single quote is the string. Okay. So that's just the subtle difference. Let's say if I press Control S to save. You can go to file. Uh, actually, I'm not going to close it this way. You can close all, right? But I usually just click the cross and then I go to the terminals and kernels and then I shut down my notebook. Okay, after you shut down the notebook, you can just press file and then quit. Okay, then. It will prompt you to confirm the quit. So just click quit, right? Then you are just shutting down. So that's pretty much it. Thank you. Bye bye.